This is like what Janine and I are all about. Vintage Halloween and vintage Christmas at the thrift store. Oh, hey guys, not to interrupt. Hi, um, it's today, the day the video is coming out, but I just wanted to hop in to say that we got a ton of interest on our smalls and salt and pepper shakers lots that we picked up last week and we are doing our first sale on them next tuesday august 8th over on whatnot this will be probably the first of a, quite a few sales where we do those items um we're just going to be pulling some random salt and peppers and some miniatures so if you are interested in that make sure to follow us here on youtube and instagram that's where we make all our sale announcements and of course over on whatnot uh, you could flag the sale so you get a reminder of when we go live um, and we are so excited to pass these along to new homes. We hope to see you guys there but anyway let's get back to today's video. We were tipped off by a member of the Pumpkin Patrol and here a unique in Edison, New Jersey. There is Halloween on the shelves. So this is the first code orange at the thrift store for us. Thank you, John, for letting us know that it's out. And we're gonna go take a look. Code orange at the thrift store, guys. The first of 2023. Let's hope, I mean, let's hope it's in there. We, we won't be upset, John, if you took it all, we understand. <laughs> we're just happy it's that time of year. It's the location we don't typically go to. So we went a little bit out of the way for code orange, but we're very excited. Dean, I wanna go. Oh, but it's, um, um, Yogi Bear. Yogi, um... I gotta go. Okay. We can look at Yogi Bear later. Pink, yellow. Pink, orange. yellow, orange. I see it. I see it, Janine. Oh my god. Oh, that's really cute. That is so cute. It's only three dollars. Okay. But look, Janine. <gasps> It's Halloween at the thrift oh store. My hey. <laughs> oh my gosh. So excited now. Oh my goodness. It's her. It's her. A little puff lump witch. Um now we typically Ooh, that's fun. Typically enjoy Halloween from like the 40s and all the way through to the 90s. Halloween yes. from the 80s and 90s, we're big fans Some of. Some of my favorite stuff. Yeah. Um, more collectible than Christmas from the 80s and 90s. So we're going to take a look through these shelves, guys. Maybe we could start over here with all of the um, costumes. But I did just spot this cute little tablecloth. We check like every little bit because um, sometimes we find stuff hidden. This is sort of cool. Battery operated skull lantern from Planet Halloween. So cool. Scooping up things already. <laughs> Little puffle lump guy. Yeah, right? Cute. We're gonna need a cart. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. I think someone made this. Well, you can just put it in there. I got it. So, what else do we have here? Some costumes. Oh my goodness, things are Little cookie cutters. They're a bit newer. Pumpkin pail. This guy has his handles broken off and he is newer. He was made by General Foam Plastics. He's probably from the 2000s, early 2000s. Um, leave him behind for somebody else in the pumpkin patrol. Look at this, Janine. It's like a witch on a broom. That's like, would she have been on something? I don't know. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. She was a propeller. Yeah. She, maybe she was on a string and she was like... I don't know. Fly around. You know those things that would like fly and like... Yeah, around the room. Yes. Interesting. Now we've already filled up the cart. Yeah. Yeah. And I found this weird thing. Oh. I really dislike her face, but I like her little jack-o'-lantern. She's like a fiber optic thing, I think. Interesting. Kids of America. And she like would have plugged into some sort of power strip. Yeah, thing. isn't she weird? She could be cool though. Yeah, I'm gonna up. put her in the car and cart and look her up. I still don't know how old this is, but I thought it was pretty cool. What are you thinking so far? I'm thinking I'm very excited. I'm thinking we might have to go to the other unique to see oh, if no. they put out Halloween <laughs> too. Um, but I'm so excited. This is like what Janine and I are all about. Vintage Halloween and vintage Christmas at the thrift store. Oh, look at her. I said look at her. <laughs> Interesting. Um, but it's chipped. Oh. Uh, yeah. 
seven dollars. Ceramica. It probably would have been a nice little piece. Yeah, that's too bad. Shanine, the uh, Donald from Walt Disney Productions. Is there another one? Oh yeah, look, it's Donald and Daisy. Cool. Hmm. Six dollars each. That's pretty. That's not bad. No, it's not bad. I want that bucket hat. Cute hat. Flomo. That is sort of cute. <laughs> That's sort of cute. Look at him. He's like a little planter. He was definitely like hand painted. He's got a little chip there, but I can even touch that up. This is definitely like 80s. Oh, it's cute. I'm gonna have to put it in the card. Hmm. It's a really cool trick or treating ball. Yeah. I like the bat with the jewel eyes on it. Yeah, I think they're all supposed to have them. Um, and they fell, fell out, maybe. Made in China. Huh. Reminds me of. It does look like Mothman. A little Mothman <laughs> pin. They're really cute. I thought it was vintage by the finish. Mm -hmm. Probably hand painted, and I flipped it over, and it has 1985. That's really cute. It's the Christmas side. Not as exciting because it's mostly 80s and 90s. That's not to say that there aren't pieces from the 80s and 90s, like Christmas collectibles that are worth money. Um, it's just not what we collect. Just not things that we're super like knowledgeable about. Like some Lennox pieces, you know, things like that can really resell from the 80s and 90s, but um, we're mostly after like the mid-century Christmas stuff. So cute, these little bells. And little snowman bells, apparently. Oh, this is so cute. To me, it looks like a vintage dinosaur. It's got that open mouth, good paint. Let's see if there's a date on it. Janine's very into vintage dinosaurs as of late. This is Hong Kong, guys. You see that? And it's four dollars. Let's see her reaction. That's fun. <laughs> Got my hands full. Does the head move? Oh no! What? I have to get it. <laughs> you see what it says? Yeah. But also, like that's like a brand, but like. Yeah, that's a good one. What country? Oh, no. Hong Kong. <laughs> so like, who would have thought? Seventies. There, there's like months, months where I've been looking for dinosaurs, and then like in the past month, I know like you found all of them. Everywhere. Every single one there is to find. Yeah, seventies. Seventies. Like, yeah, it's a pretty cool one. It's big too. Yeah, a little bit of maybe cracking. No, maybe that's just the way it is. Wow, very cool. Into the car it goes. Hold on. Found an ugly doll. Yeah. Is it a newer one? No. Oh, It's pre-2012, Yeah, I believe. it's cute. Alrighty. I don't know what these in here. Cute. Probably won't. Oh, they're so cute. I like that one, yeah. <laughs> There's window clings. These are fun. They, um, these were big when we were kids, but they don't really resell for too much. Unless you've got some really cool ones. The Halloween ones would be cool. Cute. No Halloween. Oh, it's so too soon. One Halloween one with the bears. That's sort of cute. From Kmart. Wow. I didn't. Disney. I didn't come down this far. Oh, candy cane picks. Yeah, with little bows on them. That's delightful. I think that's what that is. Isn't that cool? That's fun. God, that's cool. That is sort of fun. Um, I am getting a little overwhelmed for no reason. Ooh. She's like peeking out from the cards. She's like Spooky. Older. But did you see this, Janine? You didn't see this. Look at this cat. Well, lucky that it's not a dog. I know. What? Some of these things, I don't know, they're like collectible. Why is it dog? Lucky it's not a dog because I would have wanted to pick it up. Isn't that what you meant? But I meant. I meant frog. Oh. <laughs> okay. What is it? These oh. are Norman Rockwell winter playing cards. Those are cute. Aren't they? Those are sort of fun. They look vintage. They are. Well, they are. Look at them. Yeah. Cool. Trying to. Spooky. Trying. Spooky day at the thrift store. 
me looking at the Halloween stuff on the other side of the aisle. So I did a quick like two minute research on this. This is a Laurel Birch styled cat figurine. If you can find the actual Laurel Birch art or figure with her signature on it, it, it can be worth like $200, but this one, not so much. Um, but yeah, definitely something to keep a lookout for. I found this really pretty planter. It doesn't have any markings on the bottom. It's $7.50, but I probably won't pick it up. I thought it was really pretty. I love this on the side, very mid-century with all the little grapes. If you guys recognize this maker or know if it has a maker, let me know in the comments. But yeah, it'd be $7.50. Oh my goodness, Janine. This is um, weird. Somebody was just mentioning that during one of our yeah. one-out sales that they made a uh, spoof version of Goosebumps mm -hmm. called Goof I've Lumps. I've never found it before. That is so fun. I just found this. Hey. This is, um, I believe, like a, yeah, like a graphic novel. Oh, cool. How fun. I love the this one though. Goof lumps. It looks like maybe they yeah. So they took like the um, the stories and then adapted them to like a graphic novel form. Very cool. I don't know if I'll get this one, but you gotta but get. I'm gonna get lumps. this one. That's and I so actually fun. Just found Let's get invisible. Nice. And they're both 99 cents. Oh, good prices. Great deal. And I also found you can do a Charlie Brown. Cute. Really cute. Yeah, it's a great price for the Goosebumps at our other thrift store that we go to. They're like two ninety nine each. Mm -hmm. So very exciting. Hi, you got more on the cart. I did. Well, they just brought out new cards, and I found this bag of ponies, which I thought you might want to look at. Mm -hmm. I haven't like looked at them to see if they're anything. You look at the Halloween that they pulled out. Yeah, it's just like scarecrows. Fall. Yeah. And then I found this bag, which I thought was sort of interesting. Mm -hmm. Looks like Transformers almost. Yes. I don't know if they're a vintage, so I thought maybe you could take a look at that. Mm -hmm. um, and then, if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, um, I passed up on like those moon shelves from the mid-century like when? years ago, years ago, like three or four years ago. And this sort of reminded me of it. It's been repainted, um, but I'm going to like look it up and see if this is anything I'm or if I'm just being hopeful. Um, so I'm going to look this guy up. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? The moon with yes. the... Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to look that guy up. Jane's going to take a look at these horses. And missing pieces. And that's missing pieces. Is it vintage? I don't know. Mm. It's very light. Okay, just so you'd want to take a look. Yeah, thanks. And those horses are for you. Yeah. Janine knows the specific uh, spray paint that they spray painted this with. Also, okay, so usually they come in pairs. This one's not as ornate as the ones that are sold on eBay, but they are definitely collectible if you do find them. I'll put in a comp of some nicer ones that do resell. Um, so I think I'm going to leave this behind. But Janine's over there looking at some really nice shelves. These are really nice. They're $6 each. Um, good for displaying things for sales. I don't know. We'll think about that. Look at this. This is so cool. Wow. Isn't that amazing though? This is at the thrift store for $39.99. Wow. That's so cool. Wow. You just don't see stuff like this at the thrift store anymore. I feel like it used to, or more, at least. I mean, that would make sense, right? <laughs> this probably is less in existence, but yeah, pretty cool. Look at this. Is this an old military trunk? I don't know if it's real. I can't, I don't know how to tell that or not. It does look old, definitely. Wow. Oh yeah, it smells old too. $50. I can't really make it out what it says, but it's definitely cool looking. Wow. You don't see those at the thrift store either. It's a ton, tons of stuff today that you don't normally see, huh? But wow, that's really cool. Um, it definitely smells um, musty. So, yeah. And look, there's some, like, it's a pet ramp, a dog ramp. So I'm going show that to Laura. Oh wow, that is really cool to see. Janine just bought this Santa Claus Christmas card game, and then look, Janine, funny bones. It's just like with the book. It is. That is so cute. These are a bit new, maybe like 80s, but really cute. Okay, I guess it's gonna go in the cart for now. Also, um, I found this. It's from 1998, made by Hasbro. I don't know what it is. 
it stinks of mothballs, so if anyone could let us know what it is. Yeah, Google, I, I, um, I don't even want to hold it for much longer. Google Lens couldn't pick it up, so I don't know what it is. Look guys, I like almost missed this. How cute. These are from 2004. This one looks newer. But this one's definitely like early 2000s, very cute. I don't know if I'll pick it up, but it's super nostalgic. Janine, how exciting. Our first code orange haul from the thrift store. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. We got a little silly there and uh, we had a cart full of stuff, but we looked it over. We decided let's look at everything and decide what we really want to pick up. And those items are right behind me on these two new shelves that are so nice. Yes, that's one thing that I picked up today are these nice shelves that we'll be using for our sales and to display things on. We actually already had a whatnot sale um, and used the shelves mm -hmm. and they came in handy. They were the perfect shelves, mm -hmm. so they'll definitely be used in the coming months. Yep. And let's take a closer look at some of these fun little stuffed animals we got. We got some pumpkin boys or a pumpkin witch actually right here. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin witch, little puffy pumpkin. It's made out of that fun parachute material. This one's so fun. I love his little long <laughs> extremities. Yeah. We've found like parachute style Halloween plush before, but they're usually a little bit bigger. The fact that this one is so tiny, it was a lot of fun to find. Yep. It's sort of like this witch. Like, yes. that's sort of more the style that we typically find. And she's actually kind of small for a parachute mm -hmm. plush, too, wouldn't you say, Laura? Yeah, she's really cool, though. And all the plush were great prices at mm -hmm. this unique. She looks great next to the candy corn cat, which is a lot of fun. I found this jack-o'-lantern candlestick holder, and I thought that was really cool. It has definitely a vintage feel to it. Gives me a lot of nostalgia to the 90s. Just, uh, I love it. Yeah, probably hand-painted, but really cool. Actually, no, I don't think so, Laura. You don't think it was hand-painted? Oh, yeah, it was hand-painted. I thought you meant like it was done like at a... I thought you meant it was a hobbyist piece, but it's not a hobbyist oh, piece. Oh, I thought it was a hobbyist piece. Oh, no, you can actually see like some original oh, paper sticker. label down there. Cool. So I don't believe that was a hobbyist piece, but maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. What a great price on the books. We have a Goosebumps here for only 99 cents, and I believe... That ended up being about 75 because it was on sale, which is great. And then I found one of these spoof Goosebumps books, which is actually really funny that I found this recently because we only learned about them recently through our um, one of our viewers during our whatnot sale. It was a lot of fun to learn about. And then we just happened to find one like, I don't know, a couple weeks later. So it's a funny coincidence there. A great, great dinosaur find today, Laura. Uh, thank you for finding him. He is marked on the bottom. I don't know how to say it. Is it Dorme? Dormai? Um, but that company made Godzilla figures. And those Godzilla figures are very resellable oh, and wow. sell pretty well. This guy, not so much. So listen to me, please. Thrift stores, don't mark the dinosaurs any higher. <laughs> because even though they're, they're vintage and they're older, they're not worth a ton of money. So just keep on... on um, Pricing them low. Pricing them but low. But Janine, you're probably going to start a trend, I bet. Everybody's going to be going into vintage dinosaurs. and You're a trendsetter, i got to <laughs> no, tell you. But no. when Janine showed me the footage from today's video, I saw this in the cart, our cart. And I was like, wait, I didn't talk about this at all at the thrift store. And I was so excited to find it. So, I don't know, maybe I got a little too crazy at the thrift yeah, store. Yeah, there, forgot. there's one shot in the cart. You can kind of see <laughs> you it. You can see it. Yep. You can see it, but I don't know. Maybe that footage is floating around in the abyss. But... Maybe, maybe. But yes, I picked up this really amazing ceramic Halloween scarecrow figure. This caught my eye right away. With Halloween ceramics, they really didn't make them in the mid-century too often. A true Halloween ceramic is usually from the very late 70s, but mostly the 80s and the 90s. And this one is an UNESCO from 1988. Now what's interesting about the ceramics when you find them from the 80s and 90s, they are actually pretty collectible compared to a Christmas ceramic from the 80s and 90s. There are some left in Halloween figurines from the 80s that resell for a lot of money. Um, I don't know about this one in particular, but I thought he was really cute and only $2.99. Um, so Very nice. He's a great pickup. I might um, pass him along since I don't really collect Halloween ceramics, ironically, um, unless they're really cute. 
but I thought he was so fun. Hard to find these types of Halloween ceramics, so I was really excited to pick him up. And the last thing I found at the thrift store was the card game, the Funny Bones card game. I absolutely love them. They're so fun. They are a little beat, but the graphics are just so fun and cute. Um, all different little Funny Bones uh, scenes and scenarios. Um, and I just love them. I might like split them up and resell a few of them because I like, I'm not going to play this, but I just want a few of them to look at or display with during Halloween. And there's multiples of each. So I will probably uh, pass a few along. But look how cute they are. They're so adorable. So couldn't leave these behind. I think we had a really good day at the thrift store. Again, John, thank you for um, letting us know about mm -hmm. the code orange alert at Unique down in South Plainfield. We had a lot of fun. And before you guys go, we're going to show you a um, package that we got in the mail. So if you like to watch like mail unboxings, we'll do a little bit of that. Um, but then we'll see you in our next video. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Bye, Bye. stick around. So thank you to Jeff who sent us this large box of stuff. We're gonna take some things out and show you guys. We took a little peek, I'll have to admit. We took a little peek <laughs> and we were very excited with some of the stuff that you sent. Jeff is very nice and generous yes. of you. Thank you so much. Okay, so right off the bat, you can see how much stuff is in here. We're gonna take some stuff out, get a closer look, but I see something that says Casper. I see oh some goodness. exciting Halloween stuff. Let's get into it. As Janine's pulling out stuff, I just wanna say, this is something that Jeff sent in the box and it is so fun, a little plastic um, toy, I guess in hong kong and jeff thank you so much for sending these things along some of it we will definitely keep some we may pass along what you said was okay and your really cute card that you sent us i think it's under here yes cute little halloween trick-or-treat card some amazing vintage yarn i just love the colors of this pinky red one and all the little bobbins in there which people definitely collect and display with we got some books here some of which are spooky books for the book collection we have some really cute books. Jeremy Jekyll's Halloween. How cool is that? Wow, I love that cover. I've never seen that before. That's really cool. The next one's a little scary. <laughs> <laughs> that is scary. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at that. That is a scary looking. Terrifying. Sea creature, if I've seen one. Wow, look at that. Nine Witch Tales. That is cool. I love the illustration on this. Nate the Great and the Halloween Hunt. And then we've got some Partridge Family Haunted Hall and Barrel of Fun, similar to Barrel of Chuckles. Some barrels. Wow, this really took me back. <laughs> I had this when I was younger. Wow, I can't believe like it's still in the package. This is like really cool. Thank you so much for sending this to us because this took me like right back to being a kid. I had the same pen, Laura. Yeah, it was one thing we opened the box and got a little sneak peek and Janine like screamed. <laughs> I might have screamed. This <laughs> like you can actually I don't know how many of you out, out there may have had this pen, but it was a working super soaker. So you would add water and oh my gosh. you could squirt it and it was so much fun and like I don't know. Wow, very nostalgic. Jeff also sent us some really fun coloring books and things from our childhood that we absolutely love. So thank you so much, Jeff. Um, but we saw this. Opened it up just a smidge. Well, actually, actually, I took it out a smidge. I said, put that back. We have to talk about that on camera. These are all stickers, guys. Oh my goodness. So this is what we're gonna spend the rest of the time looking through because uh, Janine and I love stickers from the 80s and the 90s. And I think that's what this is. We've got Snoopy Halloween, including these really cute holographic ones. Oh my gosh, look, Janine. Oh my goodness. <gasps> New sealed holographic <gasps> Halloween stickers. I, I mean. love those. Oh my goodness. Look at that little caterpillar guy right there. Oh wow. my goodness. So fun. Look at those. Smiley face ones. More Halloween. I mean, how fun are these? And oh, look, wow. Those are definitely vintage. Wow, still sealed. These, some of these like Amscan ones from like Hallmark, I grew up with. Like, Me too, yep. So nostalgic. 535 stinky stickers. Stinky? Oh boy, guys, do you smell them through the camera? Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Wow, look at those. They're tiny Halloween These are stickers. like the ones you'd get on the top of your homework during like <laughs> school, you know? Back yep. when it was around Christmas and Halloween. Oh my gosh, look at these little bear ones. Oh my goodness, they are so cute. 
<laughs> some fish. Whoa, those are so cool. Wow. They, they actually have a date on here, 1991. Wow. Very cool. So that came from this backer. Got some roses. Oh my goodness, Aww. Winnie the Pooh. I think I have this in my old sticker book from wow. when I was a kid. Wow, how great are these? We've got some Barney here. Oh, wow. These are from 93. Wow. Barney, some full sheets, some more Barney ones. Wow. For Valentine's Day. These really cute ones. Aww. From 86. Wow. Looks like these are almost like chronological because now we're moving into Easter and St. Patrick's Day. Wow. Look at these really cute peanuts ones. How cute. Some shamrocks. Oh, I love those. So fun. Jeff, nice you kidding. really have the sticker collection here, and we are just so thankful Sandy Lion. that you decided to pass some of them along to us. Thank you so much. We will definitely cherish and love these. It's just a great little, I mean, really not little. It's actually a great big stack of stickers. So thank you so much. Thank you for everything else that is in the box, especially those Christmas cards. Um, the box is really cool. I might even post a picture of that on Instagram in the next few weeks. Um, but we just want to thank you. And if any of you want to send a letter or, you know, anything in the mail, we have our PO box listed in the description of this video and also on our about section on our channel. Um, so Jeff, again, thank you so much. Um, we really, really do appreciate it.